welcome back to Food Origins, where we discuss the origins of ingredients, cooking methods, and dishes from prehistoric to historic times. I am your host, anthropologist and foodie, Bianca Buck. Within the show, we will be transforming antiquated foods into delicious modern-day recipes that you can make at home. Today on Food Origins, we will be discussing the early history of chocolate and its many forms, which will be the central ingredient in our dish, chocolate boozy banana bread. Truffles, Hershey bars, hot fudge. What do all of these sweet treats have in common? They all started out as this little bean here, the cacao bean, or what you might know as chocolate. No matter how you eat it, every chocolatey dessert starts out the exact same way, hanging on a tree. Cacao seeds are harvested from the fruit of the cacao tree, whose scientific name, Theobroma cacao, actually translates to mean the food of the gods in Greek, due to cacao's history of having otherworldly origins. To begin the chocolate making process, these plush white beans are fermented for approximately five days and then dried for two weeks. During this process, the beans take on a rich brown color, which you can see here. This is what a cacao bean looks like right before it is turned into cocoa, the following stage in the chocolate making process. It is within this step that the fermented and dried cacao beans are ground and roasted. Now that the beans have transitioned into cocoa, it can be used to make chocolate. It is believed that the cacao tree originated in South America, but naturally migrated north all the way to Mesoamerica, the region of land stretching from northern Costa Rica all the way to southern Mexico. It is within Mesoamerica that archaeologists believe the first domestication of the cacao plant and the creation of chocolate first occurred. The word cacao stems from the indigenous southern Mexican language family of Mije Zoquian. Anthropologists and linguists have reconstructed the original term for cacao, which was cacao or cacaoa, and has gone relatively unchanged for millennia. The development of chocolate has traditionally been associated with the Aztec, Maya, and Olmec civilizations due to its prolific assimilation within their cultural, religious, and commercial domains. However, the true origin of chocolate predates all three of these ancient civilizations. Recent archaeological ventures have tracked the true source of the sweet treat to the Soconosco region of the coastal southern Mexican state of the Chiapas, where evidence of liquid chocolate has been discovered at one of Mesoamerica's earliest sedentary villages. This site is the Paso de la Amada, the home of the mysterious Mokaya people, who inhabited the region as early as 1900 BC. It was within this archaeological site that a tecomate bowl used to house liquids was recovered. The contents of the bowl were tested using liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry to identify cacao's unique chemical composition, proving that humans have been consuming chocolate for nearly 4,000 years. The Mesoamerican process of turning cacao beans into cocoa has gone relatively unchanged for the past four millennia and is basically the same method that we use today. But what has changed drastically is the way in which we make and consume our chocolate. Within these ancient societies, chocolate, or chocolatl as the Aztecs called it, was consumed as a bitter drink that was combined with cornmeal, water, and chili peppers, and was poured from a great height in order to create froth. Sugar was not introduced to the chocolate making process until it reached Europe in the 16th century. With 
Within ancient Mesoamerica, chocolate was considered to be the food of the gods and the cacao beans of divine origin. Due to recovered written works from the Maya and Aztec cultures, we know that these foods were heavily incorporated into religious ceremonies and creation stories. During yearly festivals, the Aztecs gave offerings of blood-coated cacao to their gods. In rituals patronizing their god of trade and commerce, Yacatecutli, chocolate drinks would be served to human sacrifices on the festival's eve. The Aztecs prized their cacao so much so that it was valued more than gold and used as a form of currency. Similarly, the Mayans annually celebrated their god of cacao and mercantilism, Ek Chua, with animal sacrifices, gift exchanging, and plentiful offerings of the coveted bean. It was said that cacao had been gifted to the Mayan people by their creator god, the sovereign plumed serpent. It was the Maya who brought Mesoamerica's prized chocolate drink to Europe after having been taken to Spain by Dominican friars to meet the royal family. Once chocolate reached Western society, it quickly flourished and became the dessert that we all know and love today. So as an ode to chocolate and its many forms, today we will be adding a twist on a classic baked treat and making chocolate boozy banana bread. Let's get started. Starting with the wet ingredients, Smash three heavily ripened medium-sized bananas into a medium-sized bowl. Add in one quarter cup of melted unsalted butter. One large egg. A teaspoon of vanilla. A half a cup of Kahlua, then stir and set your wet ingredients aside. Now we will combine the dry ingredients. In a large bowl, combine a half a cup of cocoa powder, one cup of light brown sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt, one and one quarter cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of chocolate chips, three quarters of a cup of walnuts, which is optional, but I think it adds a necessary crunch. And finally, the secret ingredient, 
which is one tablespoon of instant espresso powder, which will intensify the depth of the chocolate and add a mellow aftertaste of coffee. Stir the dry ingredients. Now combine the wet into the dry ingredients and stir until completely mixed. For the toppings, set aside a handful of chocolate chips, another banana, and about a tablespoon of sugar, which we will be using to caramelize the banana with a blowtorch. Pour the batter in a 10 inch parchment lined pan. Cut the banana in half and place on top of the batter along with the chocolate chips. Bake on a low rack at 350 degrees for one hour or until a toothpick is inserted into the middle of the banana bread and comes out with just a slight bit of batter on it. It will continue to cook after it is taken out of the oven. After taking the banana bread out of the oven, let it rest for one hour. Then spread the tablespoon of sugar over both of the halved banana slices and torch. This will create a delicious thick caramel over top the naturally sweet baked bananas. I also added just a sprinkle of sea salt to cut through the sweetness of the dish. Instead of refrigerating the banana bread, wrap it in saran wrap. It will last for approximately five days. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe.